Hey, it's Teresa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen for another Tool Tuesday. And uh, I think you're going to like this one. It is a double or triple or quadruple tip on this one with this tool. Okay, you think that you can only use a cocktail shaker for cocktails. Well, not in my kitchen, baby. There are several things we can do with it. And I do, because ever since my Pampered Chef uh, salad dressing mix thing broke, I've been using either this or a mason jar with a lid to make dressing. I think I like it even better in this, and I'm gonna show you how and why. Also, why can't you make your own Starbucks double shots? Because you can with the handy dandy cocktail mixer, cocktail shaker, and I'm gonna show you how. So let's go. Let's make dressing and double shots in our cocktail shaker. Okay, so here we go. Here's my Pampered Chef cocktail shaker, but you can also use one of these old timey ones, okay? Although when you shake it with this kind it does go all over the place um unless you should you know really hold it steady and whatever okay well i have um penzi's ranch buttermilk ranch dressing um this of course will work with your store brands um okay and so in here is a tablespoon of ranch dressing mix and a tablespoon of water. Now, you pour in half a cup of buttermilk, because obviously it's buttermilk ranch, right? And then half a cup of mayonnaise. This one is Sir Kensington. Um, the um, avocado oil version okay and then you put on your top right here's my top right boom right. and we're gonna hold it tight and shake away all right Obviously, you can add chives, you can add dill, you can er add herbs if you want, some fresh herbs. And there you go, you got salad dressing. Okay, that's one. Then you wash it out. Right. If you want to use it for your uh, Starbucks double shot, you got to wash it out. Right? Now, we in our family, we are a huge fan of the Starbucks double shot. And instead of going to the store, we've kind of quit going to Starbucks a bit. We don't go as often as we used to. Because um, now we don't have to. Okay? I'm going to brew a shot. All right, I have a Nespresso, Nespresso machine, and I am going to brew what they call Shakerado, okay, which is a, one of their little pods. It's a special edition, but you can use any kind of coffee, You can, but the stronger the better. Also, you can use, um, you can also use any kind of espresso that you have, Illy, whatever. Just brew one to two shots. Of your favorite espresso. With us, it is Nespresso. shot of your favorite espresso or coffee it will work with any kind 
of uh, K cup or single or even stovetop espresso. Okay, you can pour off a shot. Okay, so I've got my shot. All right, and this one is called Shakerado, so that you can, I guess, make your own Shakerado. Okay, what we like about this is that it makes its own crema, which is kind of cool. Okay. Okay, now I've got some ice in my shaker. I'm adding in some milk because after all, Starbucks double shots usually come with some cream or 2% milk. Adding in a little sweetening, I like blue agave, agave nectar, okay? And then you pour in your cup of espresso. I also like to kind of rinse it around and get out the last of that crema. It doesn't really water it down much, okay? And then, obviously, you gotta make sure the lid is all rinsed out, okay? Okay, and then you press it, turn it on, and you, and you shake away, all right? All right, the coffee cools off in the ice. You open it up. Okay. And you pour it into your favorite cup. Okay. And there you go. You've got a Starbucks double shot. If you really want to go authentic, you can get one of those cups, you know, the insulated cups with the hole in the top and put in your green straw okay and there you go okay great so there you go your two uses for your cocktail shaker okay. and here's my starbucks double shot delicious absolutely perfect so this way you can make it the way you like it if you want chocolate syrup go for it I've done it with chocolate syrup that's what they call a 1m at Starbucks they I they go cl no classic 1m so there it is there's a no classic which means I guess um, because classic is with sugar in it I think or some kind of sugar syrup this is no classic because it doesn't have sugar syrup. Anyway, so there you go. Two tips, one tool, right? My favorite, the cocktail shaker. Hope you found this entertaining, and I hope it was helpful. And I hope you'll start using your shaker for things other than cocktails. Um, if you like the video, please, please press like. Subscribe, because there's always more fun in Reese's Cluttered Kitchen. And press the bell, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.